Hello learners, I am Parikshit Saikya and welcome to the 99 percentile club. I have over 9 years of teaching experience and I teach live on Unacademy. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting question from the chapter Time and Work. So let's get started. John usually edits a paper at a constant rate of 1 by x hours per page and then prints them at a different constant rate. On a certain day, he edits a paper at half his usual rate and then prints the paper at three times his usual rate. If the total time he usually takes to edit and print P pages is 15 hours, how many more hours did he take to edit and print two P pages that day then he usually takes to edit and print P pages. Okay. Now I definitely want my students to pause the video, try and solve the question yourself. The answer options are there and then compare the answer with the solution that I discuss in this video. Okay. I hope you have paused the video, given it a try. So let's get started. John usually edits a paper. The moment you read it, you again understand this is a typical question from the chapter on work and time. And the best way to solve questions from the chapter is to draw the WRT table, right? So W, R, and this is the table that I want you to draw. That's it, right? So define it. What is work? Work in this case is two things. Editing, you edit and then you print, right? So let's write down. So what happened? John usually edits a paper. So basically the first process is edit. How many papers do you edit? One by X hours per page. So let's keep, uh, let's first define the units. Even before we write edit, let's first define the units. What is rate? Rate, I always want you to take it as something that you do per day or per minute or per, per hour. So here they are saying one by X hours you take to edit one page. So can I say in one hour you are basically editing X pages. So will that be a rate? Why? Remember rate is nothing but the work done per hour, per minute, per day, something like that, right? So here we are taking per hour. So can I say rate is, let's define the unit, pages per hour. So if rate is pages per hour, time is going to be an hour and work is nothing, but it's going to be the number of pages that you edit, correct? So let's get started. So first process is you edit. So you usually edit at a rate of one by X hours per page. So we already defined that that rate is nothing but X pages per hour. And then prints them at a different constant rate. Different, right? So you are, so it's a different rate. So previous rate, if it was X, now you can take a different rate. Let's say Y. Okay. On a certain day. So what happens? Now we are talking about a specific day. We are talking about a certain day, okay, on a certain day, what is happening, that's where we need to focus. On a certain day, he edits a paper. So on a certain day, what is happening? You are editing a paper at half his usual rate. So the usual rate is X, half his usual rate will become X by 2. And then prints the paper at three times his usual rate. Three times his usual rate. So let's say at what rate do you print? three times. So if the original rate was Y, now it is becoming three times. So you're editing three Y. If the total time usually takes to edit and print P pages. So remember what is pages? Pages is nothing but the work done. So usually the total time you take to edit and print P pages. So can I say work done is P, P pages, right? P pages is 15 hours. So remember what is time? Think about it. What is time? Let's put some, let's think logically. So let's say you complete 100 pages as an example and your rate is 5 pages per hour. So what is time? So if I have to find the time, can I say time is nothing but 100 by 5, which is 20 hours? Will you agree? So can I say T is nothing but W by R? So can I define that? What is T? T is nothing but W divided by R. So let me write it down. What is T? So if I have to generalize, T is W by R or W is equal to RT, whatever you take. 
right? T is W by R. So in our question, I think they talked about the work, which was P pages. They talk about the rate. Initially, they tell you as X. So say they told you something about X and obviously now they're asking you to find out the time. So what is time? Work by the rate. So let's write it down. So what is time in our first case? It is P by X. What is time in our second case? It is P by X. Correct? Is 15 hours. Is 15 hours. So now that we have understood the concept, I'll just remove this part. What I have written on the right side of the screen, I'm just removing it. So remember, time is nothing but work by weight. Work by weight. So you need to remember that, okay? Okay. Total time that you are taking is 15 hours. So if the total time you take is 15 hours, can I say that simply means P by X plus P by Y, okay? Simply means P by X plus P by Y. So let's just draw a line here. So can I say P by X plus P by Y is equal to 15? These two numbers, they are saying it's add up to 15. How many more hours did he take to edit and print two P pages? Okay, that certain day. Instead of P, you want to pay print and edit two P pages. Then he usually takes to edit and print P pages. So they are asking you the difference in the two scenarios, normal scenario and certain day. So can I say on a certain day again, what is time? Time is work by rate. So can I say it's nothing but 2P divided by X by 2. 2P divided by X by 2. And in this case, it is going to be 2P divided by 2P divided by 2. Okay. We just need to solve this. Just need to differentiate. The, I mean, subtract the two cases, right? So think about the first case. P by X plus P by Y is 15. So can I say 1 by X plus 1 by Y is equal to 15 by P, is equal to 15 by P, correct? Or can I say, can I say this implies 1 by Y is equal to 15 by P minus 1 by X, 15 by P minus 1 by X. I think I'll just call this equation 1. Now, someone might think, why, sir, in terms of Y? Remember, if you're looking at the answer option, all the answer options has got P and X. All the answer options have got P and X. So it's better if we are trying to write Y in terms of P and X because all the answer options have P and X. So I want my answer in terms of P and X. Correct? Okay. And in the second case, what is the total time taken? Total time taken is nothing but the sum of these two numbers. Second case. So let's write down 2P divided by X by 2. So the 2 in the denominator that you have will go up. The 2 that you have in the denominator out here will go up. So basically it is becoming 4P by X plus 2P divided by 3Y. 3Y, right? 2P divided by 3Y. Y I think I can write it as 1 by 1. 3Y, second one is 2P divided by 3Y. Why I'm writing this 1 by Y. Why? So that I can substitute from equation 1. So can you substitute the value of equation 1 in 1 by Y? 1 by Y, right? You know what? 1 by Y you can get it from equation 1 and substitute for this. So can you please do that? So how much will you get? 4P by X plus 2P by 3 into 1 by Y. And you know the value of 1 by Y is 15 by P minus 1 by X. Correct? So how much will this come out? Can we please do the calculations? 4P by X plus 3. PP cancels out. PP cancels out and you'll have 5. So 10 plus 10 minus 2p divided by 3x. So 4p by x minus 2p by x. So 4p you can think about, you can take the LCM, 4p by x minus 2p by 3x. I think you can take the LCM. So if you take the LCM, how much will this become? Uh, how much will this become? Tell me, 12, uh, 10p by 3x. 10p by 3x plus 10. Plus, that's it. That's it. That's equation 2 for you. That's equation Correct? Question is asking you, how much more time does he take in the second scenario compared to the first scenario? Yes? Do you want me to read it again? How many more hours did he take to edit and print two P pages that day than he usually takes to edit and print two P pages? Simple. It's all about, you know what? So second scenario may, you got the answer. So how much it is taking? 10P. So second scenario may, how much it is taking? 10P by 3X plus 10. First scenario may, how much it is taking? 
Remember first scenario, they clearly say it's taking 15 hours. I hope you remember this. First scenario made clearly says they take 15 hours. So minus, minus 15. So can I say this is nothing but 10 pay divided by 3x minus 5. Does it match with any of the options? I think you can take the LCM because the LCM has 3x in the entire denominator. So 3x, 10 pay minus 15. 15x and that's your answer. That's your answer. So which is this? This is answer option. This is answer option. Correct? Now think about it. Now, are they alternate ways? Someone might say, sir, can I assume values and so on? You can. Trust me, assuming values will actually make it a bit complicated for this particular sum, which is not very easy, which is not very easy. So I think if you go with the fundamentals, what is work? Work is rating the time. Always, they will give you two of them. So either they will give you work and rate, determine the time, or sometimes they will give you rate and time, determine the work. So just draw the WRT table and you are all set to get the answer for this very interesting chapter. I hope you liked the question, you enjoyed the video, and I'm going to see you in my next session. So happy learning, folks. Thank you.